Hey guys, this is Atrocity, and in my LP world, my technical LP world, um, I built this boat dock here, and I think um, today I'm going to make a tutorial on this so you can have one for yourself, so it looks something like this, you come up along here, you place down your boat, and you hop in, and it automatically launches you. There you go. Now, a, a warning about this boat dock though. This boat dock only works in two directions. It only works from north and south. Now over here, I've... Ah, oh, stupid squid. Okay. Now over here, I have one that's working from east and west. Uh, the only thing that's not completed about this one is the timings for the pressure pl plate because now when I place down the boat it faces these two directions uh, same as this one, it would face those two directions as well but this needs to, this boat will need to turn completely around so that makes um, gives it more time you can see it still works. I think it's slightly slower than this one, but it gets the job done, and it's, yeah. You can also um, extend out this small eats road, so uh, it can get boosted more. This can also lead into an eats road, so you have a boat dock here, and it can automatically launch into a eats road. Now how this works is fairly simple. What's happening here is the boat is on top of a pressure plate and as soon as you hop in it activates the stone pressure plate because stone pressure plates can only be activated by players or mobs. So today I'll teach you how to make build one of these for yourself and let's go right to it. For this boat dock you will need the following things you will need a block of your choice. I will be using sandstone. You will obviously need boats. You will need one dispenser, some water, uh, some glass panes, and you can also put slabs on top, but you can also use your own choice of blocks on top as well. As long as when, it, when you connect it up, it has this little gap underneath, it's it's pretty much fine. You also need pressure plates and your three red, main redstone components: repeaters, redstone torches, and redstone dust. So today I'm going to be showing you how to build the boat dock that goes from north to south. I won't be showing you how to build the west east one as that one has some problems and does require a little bit more repeaters. So, first thing we want to do is lay out our boat dock. So we want to get our pressure plates, and we'll use this one as the one that's going to activate the boat. Next we want one right diagonal from it. And you want to make sure we have our dispenser two blocks away from the pressure plate. So when the water comes out, it will flow towards the pressure plate. But not exactly yet. We want to place a block and build a little frame around it all. There we go, so we know the boat's going to have a direct path this way. Now if you're building this on the other side, it's still possible. There we go. You just build it the complete opposite way, like so. So now we know that if we put a boat here, oops, it's going to activate that pressure plate. Cool. Now on these ones, we want to place glass panes. This is going to start out our eats road. So we're just going to place a couple right there. 
and we want to make sure it gets boosted out. So we're going to place a pressure plate right there and put a water source right next to this pressure plate. So what happens is the source block f flows one extra block and that's about it from there. That's going to give us a small little boost into our this to our, towards our destination. So on top of the glass panes, you want to place blocks. This is going to keep the boat held in place. The little gap between the glass panes and the block uh, is going to trap the boat down so it's locked in here before it gets released into the ocean. And I'm going to build a fake ocean like so. Alright, now that we've got most things set up, we could probably test it and put some water down here. And we can see that the boat goes straight out and into the wall of our fake ocean. So now what we want to do is start wiring up the pressure plate to activate the dispenser. Alright, now that we've got most things set up, we could probably test it and put some water down here. And we can see that the boat goes straight out and into the wall of our fake ocean. So now we, what we want to do is start wiring up the pressure plate to activate the dispenser. Now we want to wire that up to the dispenser and that redstone torch we had. So what I like to do is build a little room here because it can get quite stuffy and messy in here. And as you can see, we just broke our redstone torch. There we go. So now we have a little bit of room here, and we can see what we're doing. I recommend doing this because it can get difficult, and in the end, you can uh, fill in all the gaps that you don't need. So from here, this is our pressure plate input. We want to wire it to here, so it's a pretty simple way to do this. We can put redstone dust, so now the redstone's traveling downwards, and we can put a repeater just going straight into the block. Now you can put a redstone dust, but I will be telling you why we're putting a repeater here for now. Now, if we go over up top, and we go into the pressure plate, we should activate. Cool, so if we put in our water bucket, cool, it should then activate our boat, so we can test that right now. There we go, that's working nicely. Now there's only one problem with this. We're going to have to go over the pressure plate again for the dispenser to pull in the water again. So we want to make sure this dispenser flickers twice and goes blink, and then go blink again. So, we're going to create another root for it. So it's going to activate the redstone torch, and then after this has died out, it's going to send in another pulse, which is going to be on four ticks, going into a block, another four, and another four. So we can see here, directly opposite of this redstone torch, we have a repeater on four ticks of delay. Now the power is getting fed into this repeater from this block, and that block is receiving power from another repeater on four ticks of delay, connected to another repeater on four ticks of delay, and finally we place another repeater and we put this on two ticks of delay. So we right click that repeater once. Now from there we can just place another block, so now the power will transfer downwards here, and after exactly four, eight, twelve, fourteen ticks of delay, it's going to activate the redstone torch once more. So let's test it out. If we place our boat down, hop in, activates, and the dispenser pulls back that water. Cool. Now we can go inside our wiring and fill in any gaps you don't want. Now be careful, we cannot place a block there, because that's going to cut off our wire, you can see right there. So you can fill up as much as you can. Doesn't, it doesn't matter, you can leave this open if you wish. 
but it it isn't recommended that you do it or it's nothing bad about it but it's it might just help you out if you have a lot of stuff underground so there you have it we have just finished our boat dock always good to have a final test and you can see we go zooming past breaking our boat from here we can do all sorts of decoration things so we could put covers like so and maybe even do something like this so that we know exactly where to put our boat but if we're going to do this we will probably need a type of slab so right here we just making it look a little nicer and we can put some normal half slabs on top and that makes it a lot better than using full blocks so I do suggest that you try it out for yourself and see what you guys come up with you can actually lower this one more block so you can place your boat in here the thing is though you're gonna have to have a sign or a pressure plate or something to stop the water from flowing back out here so we have it right here and hop in and it works exact same but from here we can see that it's all covered up like so so we know exactly where to place our boat now place it down and off we go cool and that will be it for the tutorial today if you are experiencing difficulties make sure to go back on the video and try recreating something once more uh, if you would like a tutorial on this one here uh, I still need to make some improvements to it it does work though there you go but that's it for today um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you guys next time